bit in. Guess what? We're back. This is the second live stream this Saturday. Mainly because it's Easter Saturday, which isn't even a thing. And um, the tell is rubbish. So I thought, you know what? I get a day off tomorrow. First one I've had since uh, New Year's Day. It's never Easter Saturday, Easter Sunday tomorrow. So I might as well stay up and do some uh, live streaming. So this one is unboxing and setup of an FC Compact, which apparently is vintage. Um, it's the FC Naruto. And um, <laughs> it's, it's a bit mad. I'll take the lid off so I can show you. But it says it's got um, 88 games. It's got uh, controllers. It's got cables, which is a lie, uh, and it's got a, a monitor, which is also a lie. Um, it looks very similar, if you're from Japan, to a Super, well not Super, but a Famicom, which was the uh, original, like, NES type thing that they did. Uh, but this one is not that, because it's a Chinese knockoff. So, take the lid off, and there you go. There's all your gubbins that you need. Uh, put that over there, out of the way. So, oh no, that's not like that, because the kettle going in. Uh, <laughs> he's sell this at some point. So, here we go, we've got the uh, two controllers. We've got the cartridge. Now, on the front it says 88 games. The actual cartridge itself, it says... 132 games in one and all the games are listed handily there in Chinese um, to be fair the controllers yeah, they're not actually that bad got uh, four buttons on them got four buttons you got select and start so it's it's a bit posher than a uh, um, an NES or a Master System controller because it's got four buttons whether the four buttons actually do anything or not is irrelevant and then you've got the actual machine itself which is here uh, and this is not a Famicom this is a family computer Famicom means family computer it's got a flap on it uh, with the, uh, the teeth there for the cartridge slot it weighs about three ounces <laughs> And it's by uh, Cool Baby. Must have been a trendy thing to say. Um, it doesn't actually say anything on here about when it was released or whatever. Um, but yeah, you've, it's it's an interesting concept, and I think the idea is that you get your controllers. Uh, which are handily numbered, uh, in case you didn't know, one and two. But I'm clever, so I figured that one out already. And uh, high T, by the way, of your geared. Hello, lady. So we're going to take out this bit. And we've got that controller there, we don't need that controller, so we'll get rid of that controller. Just put it over here. So here is your actual controller, which plugs into the front. So that's number one in it, so that'll go in the first slot. And handily, they fit on the side of the con of the console for no apparent reason we've then got this power pack thing which I'll be honest there's a very short lead on it don't think this one through so I'm going to plug that in there that goes in all right and then they give you a lead now this is uh, two prongs from what looks like a broken stereo, but you never know these things. It might have been designed like that. I don't know why, but you know, never, never say never. Put that one down there as well. 
So uh, yeah, we've got uh, all that going on. Uh, the only problem is that bit doesn't fit in any of the holes at all. Just doesn't fit. So no idea why that's in the box. So we'll throw that away. And uh, here's one I use for the NES when I use the NES. So we've got uh, red for audio, we've got yellow for video, and we've got white for audio. So it's stereo. Stereo, stereo. The shiver with the shoe shine. We think about what we are going to do fine. If I go, I go, if I go, 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 I I love music. Talk about it. I love music. Do we do we do well? I popped you up. Right, plugged it in. Got a very bright red light on it. I don't know if you can see that or not. Very bright red light. So plug that in. Will it spin it around a little bit? Might be able to be long enough to go on the ground. Near enough. It's near enough, long enough to go on the ground. It's not long enough to go on the ground. Maybe if I stand this box up here, I can sit it on the box. And yes, that works. God, I'm a genius. Um, so there you go. And um, of course, then you put your cartridge in, like so. You push it in firmly. And as you can see, it's a very, very secure fit. So it's made, you know made well and to get your cartridge out you press that, what's that, what's that actually what's that do oh it's you know, supposed to lift it up so you go like that and it it, it uh, whew, pops it out nice and easy but of course i've done all this without reading the instructions Um, that's a mobile phone uh, course instructions. So, shall we have a look at the instructions before we set it off? Because let's be honest, safety first. Now, I do like instructions from China. China? Because they are generally incredibly informative. So, we open it up. And uh, uh, it's in Japanese, uh, Chinese. Oh, no, it's in Chinese. Oh, we got the word TV. Excellent. And nothing else. Uh, no pictures. Yeah. So a bit disappointing so far, but not to worry, because they do have. English instructions or American if you're American thick bastards um see previous video well that makes you want to speak American no it's, no it's English absolute anyway um so it's the television Famicom and um product accessories uh name a uh, DC Power unit, nothing to do with David Coulthard, a former, former Formula One racing driver. Um, it's very, very, I need to get as close as I can to this, because it is, uh, there we go. There we go. So you've got a uh, name, number, instruction, name, number, instruction. So, uh, a, a DC power, you get one of them and it's a uh, for voltage 110 volts to 20 volts you get a gamepad you get one pair uh pluggable and replaceable gamepad you get an av cable one usb into av radio which is great because it's a tv console but never mind uh you also get um where are we oh yeah operating in 
instruction. Uh, you get one of them. Uh, no instructions with that. Um, video game cartridge one. Uh, it's possible to alter the number of game cartridges recording to what? How close can we go? It is possible to alter the number num number of game cards according to specific order. Okay, that's good. And then we've got a specification, operating voltage, output voltage, and signal system, NTSL. Um, and then we've got here guidelines for the safe use of power adapter. So number one uh, forbidden use alone for children under three years old okay that's good so don't let your toddlers plug it in number two don't play the transformer or accept under normal service conditions a bit clear as mud uh number three uh, for the re recommended GB transfer only. Okay, that's good. Four, uh, disconnect power when cleaning. Yep, that's good. Number five, check the wire, plug, enclosure, and other components regularly. Brilliant, that's, that's a good safety tip, that. You should do that with everything. Uh, go out of service when damaged occurs until it is repaired so if it breaks don't play with it um, and out of running other unapproved power so yep makes absolute sense uh, application warning I wasn't going to apply it to any part of my body but anyway let's read uh, power off before inserting and removing the game card or the core. The core? What's the core? Of the card. Oh, will be damaged easily. Okay, so yeah, don't, yeah. Don't touch the card slot and the core and don't beat or slap the console. So basically it's telling you not to do console abuse, which I think you should, well, I think you should never do console abuse. There's no time or place for console abuse in this world. Don't put the console, game card and transformer in extremely cold or cold place. Uh, must not disassemble or repair the console. Brilliant. Absolute genius. I do love my Japanese Chinese knockoff instructions. There's another page there. I feel there's a page there, but there isn't. It's just very thick. So now we've got components information. So we've now got uh, a diagram of the uh, controller, and we've got the uh, diagram of the back of the console, uh, all of which is in uh, Chinese, which is very helpful. Uh, and then you've got uh, dimensions of the uh, console. And then at the bottom, it tells you what the old things are. So left channel, right channel, uh, video output, uh, power output, whoa. arrow keys, uh, double game mode, start, single hop, running fire boop, single boop, single shot, card slot. Uh, on off key ring, card flush rod, <laughs> on off key ring again, but there's two on off key rings, uh, number one handle socket and number two handle socket, so I assume that means controllers, then got another diagram that says uh, your TV, in Japanese, uh, Chinese even, uh, your power lead and where to plug them, uh, and also you've got a thing there that tells you to plug your cartridge 
uh, into the slot when the cover's down, which is pretty damn difficult, I'm being brutally honest with you. And then uh, handily it tells you to plug your, uh, your hand pieces uh, in the front of the machine. Uh, and then it says, a uh, note, there are some differences in specific connection for all kinds of televisions. Request local dealers or contact the manufacturer for more detailed information. So I'm going to ring them up and say, excuse me, you got any information for my family compact computer, please? And they'll be like, you what? This is the best bit. Uh, simple troubleshooting. Well, the simplest one is don't buy this thing. But anyway, uh, trouble diagnosis and trouble shooting. So we've got trouble. Come with me or there will be trouble. Uh, we've got checkups and treatments. So what's our first trouble? No image. That'd be good for me, to be fair. Uh, check whether the power, the power led of AC adapter and the main engine is on. Number two, check whether the television is on. <laughs> check three, check whether the cable between main engine and television is intact and correct. Number four. Check whether the television works properly uh, and in state of AV. Uh, and then press the reset to restart. Problem number two, no colour. It's not South Africa. Uh, check whether the cable between main engine and television is intact and correct. Number two, check whether the cable is connected in colour correspondingly. Number three, check whether the colour system is on NTSL. I don't even know what that is. Uh, number four, uh, try again by exchanging the direction of video line and audio cable. No sound. Check the volume. <laughs> Check, check the receiving system. Check whether the TV system is NTSC, uh, NTSI, sorry. Um, disordered graphic. Uh, check whether the cable is connected firmly. Number two, check whether the game card and card slots are clean. And three, check whether the game card is damaged. And that's it. That's all the problems you're ever going to have because after that, there'll be no more. So uh, I'm mm -hmm. glad we've read them now because I always think that you need to know uh, what to do when there's a major crisis with your games, whatever they will call it. So I'm scared of turning it on, I'll be honest. Um, these, these buttons are... sound fantastic don't they there you go family computer so we're going to take our uh, our pad or um, what they call it I forgot what they called it already we're going to take that and uh, will it work <laughs> will it blow the electrics in the house will all of Wigan go out it's like they're scared Right, good news is we've got a light. You can see the light there. Now, we've got the light. Have we actually got anything? The answer is no. I need to get me troubleshooting. Let's turn it off.
Right, okay, so you're not getting anything, but am I getting something on my main TV screen? No. Right, okay. So what what was the plan of action? Um So it goes to a black screen, which is good, so that means it's getting a signal. But it's just not working. why it's not working it's made so well hmm the only thing I can think of is um, it's just shit uh -oh. <laughs> maybe you have to plug both controllers in So let's plug the other one in, shall we? Can't get out of the uh, environmentally friendly plastic container thing. Then. Right, plug that in there. Plug that in there. I mean, I'm, f I'm fully confident with the, the cartridge being gripped properly. I think that's, uh, that's a given. So let's try again. Turn it on. this come out late 2016 and it's got the spectrum version of robocop on it Toth. that's shocking oh god da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da -da. chip dale one tiny toon adventure twin b Bandits. Bitha. Bomb sweeper, bounce. But nice to have something I've heard of. Chack and pop. Donkey Kong, get rid of that. Donkey Kong 3, okay. Donkey Kong Jr., okay. Donkey Kong Jr., man. Alright, so, okay, well that, that, that went better. Fruit dish. <laughs> Garden War. Goblet Tower. Grot Kid. <laughs> Hit mouse. Icky. Man in red. Well, yeah, it's exactly what it says on the tin. Maze, that looks like a really crap Pac-Man game. 
Pobble. Polar Bat. Radish Field. <laughs> Rural Goblin. <laughs> and that, don't they call that dogging these days? I don't know. Um, tactful Monkey. I'll be brutally honest with you, there's absolutely call there that's got me excited. So, Turtles won, why not? It's not moving. Why is it not moving? Oh, it's moving. The controls are um, vague. The controls are very vague. So is there Super Mario Bros that we know? It is, yet it looks considerably worse. I'm actually playing this on a Nintendo earlier on. It's like a knockoff version, isn't it? wrong for this game I mean this bit's right this is dreadful So, uh, <laughs> I mean, I've had many of these weird, crappy um, Chinese. Oh, no. Oh, actually, it makes it more interesting, doesn't it? Because I don't know what I'm going to play. Um, oh, let's go to 48. Oh, this looks interesting, actually. Let's play this. This isn't. It's in Chinese, yeah, it instantly comes up with English, and it's called Coast Guard. Alright, okay, so I put the... right. I missed. So I have to put the flags 
the level I want to kill, I want to blow up the things. Okay. Well, that makes it hard, doesn't it? I've got the ship, though. actually doing much about controlling this at all. Although I can make the direction change next time it comes on, I think, yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's infuriating. Apparently, I'm live streaming on YouTube. Who knew? Well, very few people. As someone kindly pointed out. Right. You actually get more views from old games than you do from new games. But anyway. Rural Goblin. I mean, you've just got to, haven't you? I'm regretting it already. So all I do is press a button every time it pops its head up. I don't have to do it. I don't have to touch any other part of the controller. And I'm getting loads of points. Am I not actually playing this? No, I am playing this. Oh no, I've hit a flower. Maybe don't hit a flower. What? I don't understand what the goblin bit is. Because they're not goblins. I think you meant to hit the flowers. Because there's a camera going up for the flowers. It's not even whack-a-mole, because whack-a-mole, you actually have to choose where to hit the thing. This you didn't. It was just press the button, and it would hit it wherever it was. I mean, that's like pointless. Well, not like pointless, because that's a TV show on the telly. Um, but no, I mean, the whole thing seemed a bit of a nonsense. I don't understand what that was about. Anyway, it's fair to say that... Uh, the um, incredible family computer does actually work and is sturdily made. And on that bombshell, we're going to move on to something else. We are going, ironically, <laughs> into the PS5, because apparently you get more views. Who knew? Um, you don't. And, um, because everyone does the new stuff, you have to do the random shot stuff. Otherwise, what's the point? So I'm going to dismantle this beautiful piece of, uh, whatever the it was. 
Well, that's a bit worrying, isn't it? I took it off and it's still lit up. Oh, it's got. Oh, it's still lit up. It's not plugged in, but it's still lit up. And it's not the light off the thing. It's still lit up. Seems legit. I'm going to plug it in, and then I'm going to turn this on, and that should drain. Yeah, that's that's drained the power from it. Wow. That's why you don't let a three-year-old use this, you see. Safety first. It all makes sense now. It didn't make sense before, but it does make sense now. Right then. Let's turn on the uh, PlayStation 5 and let it boot up while we sort this out. Uh, right. So we're going to put this in there. There's no right way or wrong way. That goes in there. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. So, PlayStation's booting up. Put that in there. Put the cable underneath. Actually, put the other one in and then put both cables in underneath. Simultaneously, both together and at the same time. Sure. Take a lot of stuff back to the shop on Monday. If you want to buy something that's absolute toss, tosh, then uh, by all means uh, come and see me. You can buy this crap. Um, I did. <laughs> so that's gone. Where are you, Kat? Are you not? Oh, you're there. She's just stood there. So, uh, we don't need that one anymore now. So we are now going on to the PS5. I'm going to play a game that up to this afternoon I didn't even know existed. And you're like, well what can that be then? What can that be like? What are you talking about there lad? And I'm like, I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. And I don't want to do that because I need the, all the subscribers I can get because it's all about the numbers apparently. Um, <laughs> So, ladies and gentlemen, two games were brought in, and um, they are uh, Spocticular, as I like to call it. The first one is Tourist Bus Simulator. <laughs> now, regular viewers will know, when I play Grand Theft Auto online, um, I do like uh, to get a bus and do my job. Oh, hi, Urban Blonde. Welcome. And um, I, I could do it for real now. Well, I say for real. It's a simulator. Uh, but there's also... <laughs> there's more. Uh, we've got Firm Bus uh, Coach Simulator 2, which is the whole of Europe. You've got Germany, Netherlands, Czech Republic, Luxembourg, France, Austria, Switzerland, and Belgium. So basically, think... Euro Truck Simulator, or Truck Simulator, or whatever, and um, we will see um, what is um, going on, because this is the way forward, current stuff. Now which one are we going to play first, because the disc is in? We're going to play Tourist Bus Simulator. Well, I need a coach trip for Urban Blonde after that uh, disaster of the uh, console that I've just played. So, yeah, uh, coach trip is a, is a definite. And we're going somewhere really nice uh, where the weather is lovely. Uh, <laughs> problem is I'm driving. I've had a few drinks. I've actually had two Maybe three. Either way, I've drunk them that slowly. It does not make any difference. Uh, so it's currently midnight. Uh, so the departure time is uh, midnight. Damn. Damn, I hate you so much. I hate you so much right now. Because it's working perfectly on my screen. Uh, 
Deactivate, activate. There you go. So, Terry's Bus Simulator. Will I be vlogging my trip? Yeah, I'll be going to different places and slagging them off. It's what I do. Uh, man, I feel like a TML. Unreal 4? What? Bus Simulator, why is it on Unreal 4? They could have probably got away with this doing it on Unreal 1 or something. I mean, I'm not expecting groundbreaking graphics, even though it's a P5. But I thought they said paedophile. Because I didn't know Gary Glitter had something to do with this. If they start playing Gary uh, Glitter music, then we know. So we've probably got a copyright strike there, which is a bit annoying, but what can you do? Right, so we've got everything on pretty good, yep. Uh, game. Graphics. Yeah, that's a bit boring. Uh, control mode might be interesting. Simple motor startup, simple driving, simple light control, simple door control, simple... Yeah, that sounds perfect. All right, I have to... <laughs> I can't even do the... Thing. Uh, right, yeah, whatever. Can we just play it now, please? Oh, no, okay. Uh, resume game, new game. Thank you. I'll be honest with you, that is actually a really good uh, map thing. Line name. Tag. Travel, obviously. We'll take travel. There we go. One line. That's good. And try to map. Okay. So we go from AJ to we can't enter out much of the map. Uh, La Pared. No. So how do I? Well, because well, <laughs> a bus stop. Right. Okay. So we started off from here. I want to validate it. Just want to drive a bloody bus. Well, wow. 
Right, there we go, we've got one. And we'll go to the Can't go there. Can't, why can't we go there? I want to go there. Okay, we'll go to this one then. There we are. It takes us to a roundabout, and then we go to. There we go. Okay, so now we go back, and then we can save. Oh. Okay. Of course it's a simulator isn't it so everything's oh god man okay okay start you can just have only the engine indicators are much more in the advanced effect options of the audio menu All right, do I have to get on the bus? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You've got on the bus without paying, but it doesn't matter. I could say I have no mirrors, but I do have mirrors, so we're alright. Oops. Whoops. Ladies and gentlemen, just be advised, this is the first time I've ever driven a bus in my life. fast whoa I put indicator on I don't have to let me go oh, okay oh it's like Wigan massive potholes everywhere Right, we're on the open road, folks. I think we slow down here. Because we don't want, we don't want to go off there, do we? Whoops. This is quite an advanced road, isn't it, for my first drive? Wow. I haven't quite gauged the width of my uh, bus yet. Or the length. Hang on guys, I think I've got an idea.
you're forgetting you have to go really wide don't you because it's really I think we're at the summit. Gone wide this time. That definitely worked better. I think I've chosen the most challenging route I could have done for my first bus journey. I mean, look at it, it's just, going down is gonna be worse, because we'll be going faster. Now this is definitely the summit, it's gotta be the summit, there can't be any more. Have we got a bus stop up here? No, we haven't. There we go, we're going down. Helping me. Or maybe they are. Is this what happens here? All the cars stop to let the bus crash. I mean, the bus. Time that little village thing down there, isn't there? She seems happy, sucked into a seat, doesn't she? Being absorbed. Thank you. I'm not using the gaps they give me for an idea of, to be fair. <sighs> Get a sweat on. Turn the soul up sound. Uh, there's a map directly behind me, which you can't see. If we move out of the way. There's a map. There's a map. Oh, because I pressed pause. Let's get rid of pause. There you go. Map. There you go. So, uh, what I should do is um, put the camera behind me and then put myself <laughs> front of the wheel. But I can't be asked with that, it's too complicated. Um, let's have a look at the uh, settings. Mm, pardon me. Uh... Alright, okay. Well, I told you it's a bit of a more difficult going down than up.
You can tell it's not Britain, can't you? I mean, for a start, we're on the wrong side of the road. But more importantly, the cars actually give a bit of room for the bus to actually get around. I'm gonna say that's how you do it. It's not. Whoops. The brakes are a little bit harsh. Whoops. Attention, 50 Tranomo Erpo. Oh, is this the town I was looking at? Palara. Right, so we've got to go. Whoops. I've got indicator on. No indicator. So no bus stop there. A little bit disappointed. Why is the pop up? I mean seriously. It's not like there's a lot going on, is it? Oh, this is, uh, they're using Unreal Engine 4. <laughs> and you've got pop-up on a game where nothing's happening. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, we like, look at that. I'm not stopped but I've decelerated all right where am I going apparently I can go anywhere around this roundabout I want I don't think it works like that oh and you have to give way to vehicles coming onto the roundabout here don't you all right we're still on route No overtaking. Oh, truck. First truck I've seen. Second truck I've seen. Third truck I've seen. Right, okay then. Pretty little church over there. I like the way they've got potholes that you drive over them and nothing happens. Doing 85 kilometers. Whoa. Oh, well, well. Did um did um Whoa Yeah I might be going a bit fast. 
I've just took my foot off the ac uh, took my finger off the accelerator. So we're slowing down a little bit now. We can speed up again now, I think. Another roundabout. So where are we going? Oh, it's end of the route. So where's the bus stop? So the traffic I have behind me. Oops. I do like it when you're driving on roads and you can see the road you're going to be on but you've no idea how you're going to get there on the road. Doing better now, I'm not crossing as much. That pop up is shocking. The telegraph mass things, telegraph poles just appeared. Why do they all look like crazy people? Whoa, you were going way too fast for the conditions. That got you a long way, didn't it? I'm your puppet. I love it. Right, you. Oi. Ignorant.
Right, I thought we had to give way on these roads. But anyway, apparently not. Right, so yeah, I missed the bus stop basically, so it sent me back. Oh, wrong one. Oops. Oh, I vaporised that car, it's just gone. Right, so back on this road again. Dave is on the road again. Driving a different bus again. Right, so that's where the bus stop was. Oh, doing eight six kilometres. I don't know what that is in miles, but it feels fast. Again, things just pop up and disappear. <laughs> yeah, you don't play this for the graphics, do you? Even though they use Unreal Engine. Yeah, I was going too fast. But I blame them for being in my way. So I thought they were bus stops, but there's no one there, so they ain't. No one driving. No, 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 no. No one driving, no, 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 no one driving. Ow, 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 pins and needles in my shoulder. Not good when you're driving a bus. Yeah, we, we don't go around the roundabout. I did miss the stop, so we don't go around the roundabout. Well, we do go around the roundabout, but we kind of go round, round the roundabout. Right. So this is New Road. Understand why the pylon? I don't know. Whoa! It's supposed to give way to me. The shadows are out of sync. <coughs> Grand Taralaja. So there's a shop coming up. There's a bus stop at the shop. Well, there might be. Yeah, bus. There you go. So I wonder if this is realistic. Ah, there's a bus stop. Okay. You've arrived at your destination. Bye, creepy. Whoa! So 
So I get a 10 minute break, I get an actual break. Oh, they all got off there, okay. Oh, so did they get off? Oh, they've all vanished, oh my god. These people are waiting to go the other way. Alright, okay. people are taking the mickey i'm doing this very seriously if you don't mind this is like a new job I'm actually going to have a break because I need the loo and I need to fill up. So I would be. What are you doing there? What are you doing? Literally the narrowest part of the entire room, he decided to go and have a nap there. Sorry, I'll squeeze past you somehow. Oh no, you've moved, okay. Some food? Do I want to give you some food? Because it is usually food time, isn't it?
let me break. It's like real life, this, isn't it? Except I don't get a break at work. The first break I've had at work for a long while, this. I've got a numb bum as well, which doesn't help. Ugh. Right. So we're going to get in. We're getting the seat. Are we going to do the return trip? What's the turning circle? Turning circle of a bus. Time to run your passengers over. One creepy zombies. Oh, she went through the door. And she's. Wow, it's Michael Jackson. Bit of moonwalk in there. Wow, wow. They've all got the same clothes on. Oh, he's just put his head through that. I mean, you know, we're going for realism. Traffic jam. I'm getting flashbacks to Tuesday. What's the problem? What's the problem? Apart from the fact these cars are not actually on the ground, but you know. Carnage. I've got no choice, we're going to run me off the road. Yeah, there you go. Look at that, I've, I've made the traffic move. There we go. 
one ignorant driver blocking the junction and it all goes to pot. Anyway, good news is, we are at this place. We gotta get out of this place If it's the last thing we ever do We gotta get out of this place Cause the traffic's crap, it's like Wigan Yeah, if you're in a car, maybe. Ugh. Oh, I got the bus stops around here somewhere, isn't it? So I've driven that without uh, um, a disaster of some sort. <sighs> Do 64 kilometres per hour. Seems reasonable in the vehicle I'm currently in. And my lack of uh, <laughs> steering prowess. So, what I'm looking for is. Oh, that just does my head in. What I'm looking for is uh, some kind of. Uh, I don't know. Group of people. What's that? Oh, it's a tree. Just stood around. Yeah. Right, here we go. I don't understand why it's on the wrong side of the road. Are they magically going to walk through? Yep, they're magically walking through. Whoa! <laughs> this is like some horror show. So I've got to get now back onto the road. Whoa. Right, we're back on the road. I don't understand why the bus stops are on the wrong side of the road, though. Oh, God, here we go again. Oh, it's a roundabout. <laughs> I think the brakes are a bit crap. Oh, 
nice bit of detail with the little uh, light above the spare wheel coming on as well. Excuse me. I was having me drink then. heading back fifty four kilometers that's as fast as it'll go. I mean we're on a steep hill. Ah I'm dead as well. Wow, look at that road up there. Oh, that's the road we've got to go on, isn't it? Oh, God. Lessons in love when will you ever learn? Yeah, that was definitely the poachers. So I'm using the cars for an idea as to where my turning circle is because I've not done it I don't think I've done it for a while while I've been doing my live streams but uh, Beach Hill where the uh, takeaways are and everything and that uh, crossing just before you drop down to dangerous traffic lights uh, Markland Mill edition um, the bus has come out of the road on the right as you go in that way and uh, I always stop and uh, just let them out but I always leave them enough room to get out because it's such a tight corner yeah this bus is struggling with the uh, hill oh and my driving Definitely driving better now than I was uh, initially. I'm going to be late. You can't see it, but behind me. Whoa, 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 whoa. I blame the car for that one. Oh, 
Sorry, mate. Well, it's your fault you didn't leave me enough room. I'll take it all back. I'm driving worse now than I was earlier. You know, I'd be... What's that flushy thing over there? I'd be mortified if I was uh, driving a car over this road. Just on the off chance, I bump into a, literally a lorry or a bus. for a bus. Alright, okay, I've just found out something. You break whilst accelerating, it's a lot slower and less jerky god look at all these cars coming around at the minute must have been a one really bad driver for uh, leading these guys and girls Got two minutes to get to my destination. Otherwise I'm gonna be late. I think I finally figured out that you can't actually drive on these roads by staying on your side of the road you've got to go on the other side of the road because you're in a in bus that's the turning circle of the Moco Cadiz it's only tough will remember that one Okay, I'm getting good again. Getting cocky there. Slow down. Although we are late. kilometers away we're in we're in the town 
Just got to hope these people driving in the town, the AI, know what they're doing. Unlike in the last town where they hadn't got a clue. Until I killed one of them. And then everything was hunky-dory. Passenger transported 100%, stop request fulfilled 100%, stops completed 100%, scheduled arrival 33%, um, scheduled departure 25%, accidents uh, 19, only 19, uh, radar control 100%, air conditioning 100%, Wi-Fi clearance 100%. Uh, passengers transported, 100%. Uh, oh no, same thing, isn't it? Yeah. Oh no. Oh, this is the way back. So accidents, only five on the way back. So I did a lot better on the way back than I did on the way there. So, uh... Oh my god, it's repeating it. No. Yes. So. Uh, thoughts? No, it's not your truck. So yeah, this was um, that was tourist board infam uh, tourist board information tourist bus simulator. Basically, none of what I just said, uh, and. Uh, I mean, I'll be honest with you, it was crap, uh, but it was fun crap, and we like fun crap. But of course, there's more. Uh, we've got Fernbus Coach Simulator. Oh, have we have we done the? Uh... So it's now two o'clock. Does that mean we've I've actually we've missed the hour? At one o'clock when it changes to two o'clock, or are we going to two o'clock where it changes to three o'clock? Been on for one hour and forty-five minutes, and it was around about midnight when I came when I did this, so that doesn't make sense. But to be fair, it did start out as not this. Um. So uh, yeah. Hi Sean, by the way. Notice I was driving a diesel bus. I was just saying. One AM changed. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I've literally lost an hour. An hour of my life will never get back. So technically it's one o'clock, but technically two o'clock.
This feels a little bit more polished than the last one. Oh, that was nice. Twenty twenty two for the last one. Twenty twenty three. Whoa. Oh, we're not in it. England is not in it. Oh, this is much more complicated. I'm sorry, but that music was just too fucking jolly. No offence. So you got all these different things that you can do with the thing. So, okay. Right. Root name. Takes. Mystery. Root. number favorite F1 driver 44 okay um, express okay Uh, 
Bad Express. Oh, I need to wake up. Doomed. Root. Right, done. Root number. for uh, Max Verstappen. And try it on that. Right. So where's my... We'll start there. Okay. And then... We... Roadworks not going that way. Well, they're all locked. Our oh, Dresden's locked. Shake. Why is Dresden locked? It's in my area. Everywhere is been locked. We'll stop there, right, okay. So where can I go? Where can I go, like? can't go outside of this area but they're all locked no we're not doing that Right, so I've got one stop.
Right. Okay. Return. This is a bit better. Why does it keep going back to that? I think it says we've saved it. Right, we're good. We're off. Get it on. Uh, 
ähm, He's excited to get on. Well, they all are. Must be true what they say about people who live in Berlin. Well, why is that open again? Can I jump? This is much more complicated than the last one. Well, are you Muppets getting on or what? Hello, mine ticket. Okay, good to go. Anyone being eaten by the seats? No, we seem to be eaten by the seat free.
Now I don't know Berlin, so I don't know how realistic this is, but it does feel quite realistic. And, okay, cars are popping up in the distance, but other than that, These roads have got kinks in them, which is a bit annoying. So we're on the autobahn. Bam, 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 baby, autobahn. Bam, 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 baby, autobahn. Bam, 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 baby, autobahn. Wow. Okay. I must admit this is easier driving than the previous one. Cough then. Don't cough. No mobile phones on the bus, please. Thank you.
Right. Well, left, but you know what I mean. I don't understand the roll markings, leave me alone. Okay, that will seem happy enough. I don't know what that screen does.
I've, I've messed this up so badly. I don't know what's going on. Uh, right, let's see where we're up to. Information exchange. I broke it. Try and do is get back on the road. There we are. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. Uh, yeah, it's not the worst game I've ever played. Uh, it's not the best game I've ever played. Um, but weirdly, I'm getting a bit tired. Mind you, I've done two of those shifts in the fall for the last month. Probably got something to do with it. So uh, I'll probably leave it there. Whether I come back to this or not, well. Oh, what's that say? Hang on a minute, this looks interesting. Alright, 
so I finished it. Okay. So there you go then. Uh, thank you very much for watching, if indeed you still are. Uh, so a big shout out to uh, Lainey Toff, uh, Dan, um, Urban Blonde, uh, Andrew Emerson. John J. And that's it. So yeah, look after yourself, stay safe, and uh, happy Easter. Uh, nearly three o'clock in the morning, don't forget the clocks have changed. Uh, and all being well, I'll be seeing you soon. Until then. Look at the state of my eyes. Bye.